Hey everyone, in today's video, I am going to talk about the number one mistake that beginners make when they are using watercolor, and that is not using enough paint, making your wash too light and not creating enough contrast. Now, this is a mistake that I have made when I was a beginner, and sometimes now I still make that mistake. So let's paint this sketch to show you what I'm talking about. In case you're wondering about the tools that I'm using, this is the Sennelier Aqua Mini set. This is the White Knights set. And this is the Napskaya Palitra Watercolor Sable Brush. All right, let's start by making the mistake first so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just painting the skin tones for these people here. Next, let's add some colors. Maybe we have some red and maybe some light burnt sienna. Now, most of these people like to wear black or dark color clothes. So let me paint a wash of ultramarine and burnt sienna. Maybe this lady is wearing some light green shirt. So this is the sketch that I have so far. Now, if you use a light wash, the watercolor is going to dry even lighter. When you see a sketch like this, where the watercolor is mostly light or mid-tone, there is no strong contrast, nothing really stands out. When your wash is too light, sometimes it can be difficult to actually see the colors that you are using. For example, here, for the skin tone of this lady, it's very pale, it's very light. It's difficult for me to see what color this is, especially when you compare it to other colors. For example, this guy here, this is a bit easier to see the skin color. So when you have a sketch with just light and mid tones, nothing stands out because there is no contrast. All right, let's try and fix this sketch by adding a bit more contrast, a bit more colors. I'm going to paint some shadows to hopefully increase the contrast. I have just mixed a light wash of ultramarine and burnt sienna. Notice as I paint over the crease on the shirt, the contrast isn't that strong either. Let's paint the shadow side of this back and the shadow side of the jeans and this luggage. Let's paint it a bit darker. One reason why beginners make this mistake is they are not confident enough. Sometimes they may be scared to use the colors, to use strong colors because they feel like they may lose control of the colors. The colors may be too bright or, may, or they may just want to save some paint. For me, when I started learning watercolor, the reason why I didn't use stronger washes is because I wasn't that confident. So sometimes when you are painting, it would be good to actually hold your painting or sketch further away so that you can see what you have. Like step away from your sketch or hold it at arm's length and see if your sketch works. See if the colors, the tonal values, see if they work. If nothing catches your eye and nothing stands out, it means the sketch still doesn't have enough contrast. And even though I have added shadows and made several areas a bit darker, nothing particularly stands out in this sketch. And it's all right to use light wash for the initial wash, but it would make your sketch, your painting more substantial when you add in stronger, more intense colors. To fix this really quickly, let's paint in some really strong colors. So this is a stronger, a more concentrated mix of ultramarine and burnt sienna. So I'm going to paint the jeans using this wash. I'm still going to leave some areas light. So this is the shadow that I am painting. So now the contrast is really starting to show. You can also see the contrast between the shirt, which is light gray, and the jeans, which is darker in color. Currently, the hair is a light wash of gray. So when I paint this additional layer to make it darker, 
immediately you can see the contrast, the difference between this wash versus the skin tone. And I want to paint it here as well, just to make it a bit darker. And some of the shadow areas for the for this hoodie here, I want to paint it as well. Right now, this three person, they are sort of wearing the same light value kind of shirt. So I'm going to create more contrast by using more intense color or using a darker value. I can do so in two ways. I can either make this shirt here darker or I can make this shirt here lighter. But this is already painted with a wash, so I cannot make it lighter than this, but I can make this this shirt here that's beside darker. So by comparison, this will be lighter. So I'm going to paint this going over the initial wash just to make it a bit darker. And for this person here, I'm going to create some contrast between the foreground and the background by creating more contrast. So I'm going to add a light layer of wash here. I'm going to wash my brush and feather this into the rest of the wash. So this is what we have so far. I can add in some more details. I can make the hair even darker if I want to by adding another layer of wash. Let's add a bit more color to the face. I'm just going to add some shadows here. I probably used too much red here for this mixture. So now his face it looks more orange compared to the other faces. And this is also one of the more common mistakes that beginners make, which is when you create your initial wash, you did not create enough of that mixture. So subsequently, you realize you want to use the same color again. It is very difficult to mix the same color, the exact same color, which is the case here. So now the face of this guy stands out in a not so nice way because of the color that is used and also because of the intensity of the color. So when we take a look at this sketch, there is more contrast here. There is more contrast between the mid-tones and the darker tones. There's more contrast between the light versus the dark. And this area here, you can see these are all very light and mid-tones. Let me cover this side of the sketch so you can see and compare. So we have more contrast here. And when I cover this side, you can see that there's almost no contrast here. And when I lift up the paper, you can see the contrast between the left and the right side. So when there is more contrast here, the eyes will naturally focus on the area here. And once the viewer loses tension, he or she would start looking around the sketch. So to get people to look where you want them to look, you have to use contrast, you have to use colors, you have to use heavier washes to divert their attention to the area you want them to look. And if you are just using light washes like this, where there is no contrast, there is contrast between the colors, the light tones versus the white, but as a whole area like this, there is no contrast. There's nothing to really focus your eyes on. So when you have contrast, if you want to make this person the focus, you can color this person with even more vibrant color or even stronger contrast. I would like to invite you to look at the sketches you have drawn and painted in your early days when learning watercolor to see if you have this problem of not using enough paint or this uh, problem of not having enough contrast. If you do, go back and redraw the sketch, paint it again this time around with stronger washes, stronger colors, and stronger contrast, and see if there is any difference. Now, while I was painting this particular sketch, I remembered other problems that I have faced while learning watercolor, so I may actually make a series of videos talking about problems that beginner watercolor users face. All right, I hope this video is helpful. If you want to check out more video tutorials, you can check out my YouTube playlist, or if you want to support my YouTube channel while doing so, you can consider supporting me on Patreon to get access to even more tutorials that I have created over the last three years. 
So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.